Hey Ravens researchers, we are going to talk a little bit about what resources, reliable resources are available to you as researchers with our library link cards that give us access to Libby and Hoopla, but also can support the work that you're doing with your five themes project. So we're going to start today by looking at how you can access and get to a page that I've created for you specifically to support your research. The first thing that you would do is visit your library Schoology page, and you can see here that there are two different things listed for Tuesday. Um, one is for eighth grade and seventh grade that will be in the library tomorrow. The second is for Ms. Linden and Ms. Ellison's World History Classes, the Five Themes Project Resources page. And when you open this page, there's a number of things that you'll see, and I'm going to give you a quick tour, help explain some of the things that you should consider using as a responsible researcher. We always are looking for reliable resources and then also make sure that you have everything that you need to be successful in this pro project. So the first thing is listed at the top in my cabinet of curiosities here. The first one is Britannica. And as I mentioned earlier, these are tools that are made available to us through the library link program. And you are going to log in. With your Seattle schools card number and your pin number. Remember, this is the number we wrote on your sticker. We've used this for Libby and Hoopla. And if you happen to forget, just a reminder up here in the right hand corner, it says library link and it gives you the formula that you need to use to remember or create that account. So now that I'm in the authentication phase, I put in my card number and my pen. I'm going to log in. And now I'm in Britannica. Now Britannica is an online um, encyclopedia that is updated very frequently. One of the amazing things about our access to this is that in the olden times, we used to have books that wouldn't get updated for years and the information we access would be out of date. But as researchers, we need to have the most up-to-date information and we're gonna use Britannica as the first stop on this tour. So go ahead and click on young adults. This is like middle school and high school. You can also you could also choose, for example, from that menu, you could choose um, children. It is really about how much information is provided. So look and see which one works best for you. So now I want to think of a city and I was. Not feeling very exotic, but I'm going to go ahead and look for Portland, Oregon. And when I do that, I start to look for where this city is. And at the very bottom, I get an article on Portland, the city in Oregon, and I'm going to click on that. So now I'm in an article. About Portland. You can see there's three different reading levels. Choose the one that suits you best. There are images and videos. There are also some links to some related articles. There is so much information in this Britannica collection for the cities that you choose. So once you're in, you can begin to read through the different aspects of the city of Portland and how they pertain to the five themes of geography. Now, something to keep in mind is that as researchers, we need to make sure we are constantly keeping track of where we find our information. We always need to leave breadcrumbs for anyone who's looking at our research so they know where we've been. In Britannica, there's a check mark. This little check mark when you click on that gives you the bibliographic citation that you need in order to be a responsible researcher to prove where your information came from and to allow someone else to find it. So I'm going to highlight that, copy it, and then I'll paste that into a Word document. That's how I'm going to keep track of the places where I find my information. So once I'm done, I really believe everyone should probably start in Britannica, find your city and start reading. 
But once I've done that, there are going to be other places I could look for more detailed information. Demographics Now is a resource that we have available to us. And my link is not there, so we'll go ahead and back up really quickly and find this. One of the other ways you can find these information, this information is through the Seattle Public Library's website. So here's demographics. Now I'll fix that link on your slide. I apologize. Once I get into demographics now, I can also do a search for Portland, Oregon, right? And when I've done that, it's a place. I choose Portland, Oregon. Location is set, right? Now I go down and it says people and company records. And there's below that a section on demographics. So the demographics are the place that we want to look for Portland, Oregon. So we're going to hit enter, location set. And once I'm down to demographics, you can see also above here, there are demographics. I can start to look at things like people and companies. Again, the demographics, which allows you to look at all kinds of things, businesses, consumerism, um, a lot of things related to um, the population of the city and you can use this to run reports on the city up to date reports on the city you can also use the maps feature in portland to zoom in it identifies for example once you zoom in some of the neighborhoods you can also look at the detailed reports that are available this is pretty intense demographics now is really like your second or third stop um, when you're looking for the last few things you might want to fill in it's a lot of information, so be aware of that when you use demographics now and know that Britannica is going to be the most helpful resource for you in your work. Back to our five themes slide, we have our ProQuest and Culturegrams. This is a good place to get information um, specifically about the state or the country that your city is in. And um, this would be like a third stop. If you're having trouble with some of the components, um, this would be the third stop. It's not as specific, right, as information specifically about a city. But for example, I happen to know that my state is in the United States. I know that it's in Oregon. I'm clicking on Oregon. And now here I may find some information about my city within this article. For example, did you know that the Starks Vacuum Museum is in Portland has vacuums dating back to the 1800s. Kind of cool. You could also do a control F on your screen. Control F is a way you could search the text on a screen and you can type in Portland and that identifies for you where in this particular article the word Portland shows up. The last one that I want to show you is A to Z the world and A to Z the world is very, very similar to the one we just used, culture grams, but here you might be looking for, again, Portland, Oregon. Let's click our search button and see what comes up. Nothing. So then what I need to do, right, is dial down a little bit more. I need to go to the United States. I will search again still not finding anything so i might even go down to oregon and now i'm getting closer now i'll be honest a to z the world is at the bottom of our five themes page because it's going to be the hardest to navigate and likely be the least helpful but i wanted to give you a number of resources that you could choose from in doing your research as researchers one of the most um, dangerous things we can do is actually gather information from the internet one without proving or showing or knowing if it's reliable and up to date um, and two forgetting to leave those breadcrumbs leaving your citations in place so that people know where we find our information so just a quick review one your library link account is right here two 
you I would suggest I highly recommend quite frankly working from the top down. I would start with Britannica and dig really, really deeply into those Britannica articles on your specific city and then move through the other resources as they appear from top to bottom. Um, in addition, uh, there are links right here really quickly to your project assignments. If you need them, I've just linked them here for quick reference so that you have access to them. I will also leave this video. I will embed this video right on top of the globe that I am holding so that if you need to come back to it at any time you can. Don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions and I wish you the best of luck Ravens researchers on your five themes geography project.